I'm back! Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I cannot even begin to tell you guys how good it feels to be sitting in front of the camera again. I had basically a month and a half, two month hiatus, and I'm back now. And I am fully refreshed, recharged, ready to go. I'm feeling so good, so I really missed you guys, but I also know that this break and this hiatus was the best thing for me in every aspect, mentally, physically, emotionally, it was just, I really needed it. If you're new here or just stopping by, my name is Kristen Martin. I'm a self-made, self-published Amazon best-selling author, a writing coach, a podcaster, and a YouTuber. Yes, it's true. I managed to fit a lot into my days. It feels very appropriate that I return to YouTube today, August 2nd, because today actually marks my third year on YouTube. So it's my third YouTube birthday. And I'm curious if you've been with me since the very beginning or close to the beginning, I would love for you to drop a 100 emoji down in the comments below so I can show you some love. Thank you so much for sticking around and for being a part of this encouraging and uplifting community. You guys rock. After a two month long hiatus, I have returned. I'm not sure if it's really coming across in this video, but I am so excited to be here. Like really, really hyped. <laughs> But if I may, I would like to be honest with you. I love AuthorTube more than words can ever even express, but over the past year, I've noticed something that I just couldn't seem to ignore. And it's just kind of sat in the back of my brain, quietly gnawing away at my subconscious. Here goes. While we all bring our unique experiences and perspectives to the table, I started to feel like my feed was inundated with the same types of videos, specifically writing advice. Suddenly, as a creator, it felt like a rat race, day in and day out, trying to come up with unique content while being enveloped in the same bubble, if you will. It was near impossible, absolutely exhausting, and frankly, something that didn't light me up. So before I went on my book tour, I already knew that I needed a break. I actually pre-filmed my break video two weeks before I went on my book tour. That's how certain I was. And as much as the break was for personal reasons, it was also for professional ones. In my heart, I knew that I couldn't continue on creating videos and content that weren't aligned with my truest desires and my higher calling. I also knew that I wouldn't be able to figure out this new direction for my platform unless I took a major step back from all of social media. I knew that I had to be selfish with my space and my time if I wanted this to work. I didn't want to see or hear or talk about what anyone else was doing except for me. And I'm happy to report that it seems to have worked. Over the past two months, I've completely redesigned and redefined what I want my YouTube channel, my platform, and my brand to be about. I spent more time than I'd care to admit going through old emails and comments and paying acute attention to the types of questions that I had received in those emails and also what types of questions I was being asked on my book tour. And you know what? I found a painstakingly obvious theme. How had I not seen this before? Because I'd been too dang busy running around trying to win an impossible rat race. But not anymore. This channel will be taking a new direction and I'm really excited about it. Here's what you can expect from my channel in the future. One video a week on Monday mornings. That is a total of four videos a month. And yes, day in the life vlogs are included in that number. Yes, we'll still be talking about writing your book and getting ish done, but from a totally new and refreshed perspective. Yes, I'll still be doing day in the life vlogs, but with realigned purpose and focus. I don't wanna to say too much and and give it all away, so I suppose you'll just have to see for yourself. It's a good thing then that it all starts this Monday. See you then!